This video is going to be about updating nominal values into real values that make uh, <clears throat> two prices throughout time much easier to compare when you update one of them to a more recent value or time period. Let's say I so gave you an equation. <clears throat> I'm going to give you either $1 million in today's dollars, so let's say 20, right now it's 2019, or I was going to give you updated for inflation $100,000 from back in 1900. So you would obviously want to pick which value was greater. Um, so that way you had more money. So you know what a million dollars in today, and you know that $100,000 meant more back in 1900, but is it worth more or less than one million today? That's where we bring in the math. So what we're going to do with this, these numbers is we're going to take this $100,000 from back then, and we're going to update it for inflation. So the equation we're going to kind of use for this is the nominal value, in this case the 100,000, times a ratio of the CPIs. So we're going to use the newer CPI divided by the older CPI. And so we're creating that ratio. So given a, an old CPI back in 1900 was 25, and the CPI from this year was around 251. So when looking at this equation, the way where we're going to plug in the numbers is we're going to move this 100,000 to 2019 value. So we're going to put the 100,000 outside times the ratio of the CPI, the new CPI being 251 and the old CPI being 25. So we plug that into a calculator, we arrive with an answer of... One million and four thousand dollars. So, well, not a big difference, and I just kind of made these numbers up on the fly. It turns out that a hundred thousand dollars is worth about the same as a million dollars today. So, in order to be a quote unquote millionaire back in 1900, would mean you'd have you know a hundred million dollars in today's value. So in this case, we've updated a nominal value into a real, and then it makes it much easier to compare this number to that number than it is to just kind of guess the difference between this number back then to that number now. So we consider these numbers to be is, you know, this especially this $100,000 is nominal. It's not accounting for inflation. When we account for inflation, we notice that it's much closer to a million dollars in real terms. So what this number tells us is $100,000 back in 1900 bought us what today we would consider to be a million dollars worth of goods and services. So if you had a $100,000 salary 100 years ago, obviously that's a lot, but that would be like having a million dollar salary today. So that it gives us a better sense of what that means. So as you look at these pages, these are going to be the pages that are very similar looking in your unit packet. So the equation doesn't really change. So we have that nominal value times the new CPI over the old CPI. What you're going to do is you're going to rank the top grossing films of all time in real value. What's listed here is the nominal gross value domestically of the top grossing films as of January 2018. So Star Wars The Force Awakens in nominal value made $936 million. The movie was released in 2015. It's not fair to compare when you think about what ticket prices are now, which are about $10, $11. You know, Star Wars back in 1977, you can venture a guess that the ticket prices were lower, but just how lower? And is it fair to compare this 461, because $461 million in 1977, you're going to find out, is a much greater sum than $936 million was in 2015. So... When we update these numbers to inflation, we're going to use these CPI figures that I have on the page in your packet. We're going to update to the most recent year, so kind of locked in on the top of that equation is going to be the 2017 figure, 245.1. So that's going to go on top of every equation of yours in the, in the middle, or in the... Um, at the top of the equation. So let's do those two figures um, just to update those values. So let's start with Star Wars The Force Awakens, which made $936 million. We'll just leave it as in millions. And that came out in 2015, 
when the CPI value was just 237. So we update for inflation, we find out that Star Wars The Force Awakens actually made 900 and I'm going to round 68 million. So that jumps it up a little bit. But 2015 and 2018 weren't that you know, far off either. So it shouldn't update very much, but when we look at the Star Wars number, it should, up, it should increase much more. So the Star Wars made $461 million, just coming from the chart, in 1977, times the ratio of the CPI with 245.1 still going on the top, because that's going to be our comparison year. And in 1977, the CPI was 60.6. So we plug that into our calculator, we find out that the total in real value that Star Wars made was 1865 when we round, million dollars, or what we could just call as $1.8 billion. So we see that in nominal values it's unfair to compare because back in Star Wars days it might have only been 30 cents to go to a show, it might have been 50, I don't, I don't know exactly because I wasn't alive in 77 either. But I do know that it's less than now, obviously, and much less. But now when we update these numbers, we can compare because now what we're doing with this math is saying, what if everybody had to pay today's va value uh, in movie ticket prices? So what if everybody had to pay $11? Then we notice that at Star Wars, obviously, many more people came up to the show. So when we remove the value of inflation, or the variable of inflation, we end up with just seeing that the most, or in this case, in these two films, more people went to see Star Wars in 77, the original, than did see the Star Wars The Force Awakens. Even though the Star Wars The Force Awakens made more nominal value, it took less people to gain that more value because ticket prices were much higher nominally. So these would we would call our real terms. 968 up, updated for what little inflation there was, and 1.9 billion, which is updated for inflation, obviously, much more because there was more inflation between 77 and today.